so honestly this episode was a bit of a surprise because um if you watch my last three i think videos i made on it you'd know that the last previous you know, three episodes there were so much uh, revealed and talked about in those episodes but in this episode was like kind of let us cool down like there was less uh things to kind of, like less thing to talk about pretty much so that's what surprised me in this episode so the few things that i do wanna that did um you know catch my attention while watching this episode so was one more the whole premise of that episode is finding mikoto since his summer break um he put he brought it upon himself to learn um new techniques and he says you know um i want to learn more ways to you know attack improve my manner crazy because the way i'm using it i feel like it's very insufficient and so uh good um so after you know lorraine i think the librarian she um recommends you know an essay that they did on you know mana matter whatever on how to increase your mana pretty much the output and we seem got to reach this and we kind of see his um fruits of his labor like after training so hard um we see you know what he could do um basically if you didn't well if you didn't watch that well if you anyways so there was two phases to this attack the first phase was that his the man around him um turns a different color so in this case we saw it turn red and then we saw later when he focused even more he was able to like i guess um give m mana the matter matter so it would turn to like a matter thing and when you see it like it looks like a big orange glob around him if you see him like a big orange person on him but um you know it's revealed later on that like he's actually doing the correct way if you saw the episode like you know what the, what he could do with the slime thing like he said it's perfect you know armor i guess like you know he found ways to um you know increase his men output i'm guessing that was his goal for the summer and the reason i wanted to preface this the i think the reason i like um even uh i think interested me is because he even himself he mentioned that like eventually like we're gonna have to fight like he even says himself uh he plans to fight uh you no know, the goddess i'm guessing that was his the main reason why i wanted to learn more of how to increase your mana output so he says one i do want to fight the goddess so this kind of confirm my um end of the story scenario where he does defeat the god and he himself becomes the new god of the world pretty much of that world so i'm guessing at this point my my uh predictions on that is, co is correct but he also mentions you know um at some point like we're gonna also have to fight the um dragon slayer girl and uh and mitsurugi mitsurugi um the, the dragon slayer girl um and i'm guessing since like his his kind of if you see him like his kind of cautious like when he said those names like he was cautious he was like oh like um towards the end of the episode when Chiki unveiled his you know, weapon and coincidentally uh his weapon was given the name dragon slayer and you know it's a big great sword not on the scale of what the dragon girl has but it is still a great big sword and Chiki, you know uses it to cut a boulder and have show his powers with it 
and he even even Makoto whispers to himself like like the moment he sees the weapon that Shiki has he he even asks himself like oh is he planning to fight uh, Mitsurugi and um the dragon slayer girl so that's for me that's kind of um does kind of um I guess prove that in a way uh, those two even though they're Mitsurugi and uh, the Dragon Slayer girl they're somewhere out there that are still alive kicking um, so it'll be interesting to see you know what they've done throughout um, you know ever since you know they were off the screen I think since like around episode 3 I, I, I believe um, so that's kind of interesting and the other thing is that so after the whole episode after the whole um, show the I guess showing your new skill tournament for um, Mikoto after that we zoom out and we see we don't see the faces but we see an animal we see a cat and a bear and they're it seems like they're in the forest and they're kind of observing what Mikoto is doing and bear you know um he does talk to the cat like oh what we can do with Makoto like is he gonna be a threat to us so I feel like that kind of sets up in the, for next episode where we'll obviously get the introduction of these two new characters and I don't know like, we might get something else because remember it's still summer break it's just been two weeks so we still have a lot of summer break left and you know, I just wonder about those things but one thing before I end this video I did want to talk about is um, I've been kind of thinking of this theory um, since like Pretty much since um I don't know um, a few a few episodes I thought of this theory but the theory goes that what if um the princess of the empire that we saw that you know um is with the male hero what if she is actually the biological sister of Mikoto and I'll you know explain my theory because I think it makes sense so what if before you know Mikoto's dad he was exiled what if you know he had a one night stand with a girl at the bar he met the girl and you know next day to his surprise and even her surprise um he the root the news goes around that he's been exiled out of the country and then the girl who he had a one night stand that he didn't know who she really was. She, you know, ends up being the at the time the princess of the empire. And then over time, as you know, because she's forced to be a single mother, as she's um as the actual princess, you know, is grown up from a kid to like you know an adult. Um, and now the princess, um, that Mikoto's dad supposedly got, you know, locked up, is now the queen. And so, I'm guessing all her life, the princess, she was told by her mother that, you know, it's um, the goddess's fault because you don't have father because she's the one responsible as to why your father your father was even exiled uh, to begin with and with no other sources to even correct her um, obviously the princess you know she um, she accepts that at face value from her mother and then now I'm guessing you know, now that her mother died she's now the queen um, and you know the male hero um, popped up um i feel like she still has the anger because i feel like she she kind of blames the goddess for her not having a 
a family for her. She kind of, you know, blames the goddess for breaking up her family. So that would explain why she has this hatred, this deep hatred for the goddess. And I also feel like, you know, at the same time, the princess is also trying to find ways to use uh, the male hero in order to um to to cause trouble to the goddess. Uh, that's my theory on it. Uh, please let me know if you guys know what you guys think about it. I think it was, you know, makes sense with everything. Kind of really makes sense. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty cool episode. I know there wasn't a lot, uh, shown in this episode. A lot, there wasn't a lot revealed. But, um, yeah. But, I think I'm just under here. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.